This is Faith right here. Faith, say hi. Hi. Yeah, she's here. She's taking her soda and I'm having a bowl of water. We just here weeding our corn and beans and they look so beautiful. <laughs> so today I want to share with you something very important concerning land. I bought land and squatters came and settled on it. And this has costed me a lot of money and time dealing with them. I wish I had known this before. It would have saved me a lot. I don't want anyone out there to go through the same trouble I've gone through. That's why I've made this video. If you buy land and you find squatters, this is what you should do, guys. Don't go and sue this, these squatters. Instead, sue the person who sold you the land. If you find out that it's the same person who sold them the same piece of land, that you bought with your hard and cash alternatively do not fear them and don't waste your money and time on them get a survey to survey your land and let them know where your land starts and stop to do this of course you must have a title yes. of that particular land they're occupying make them feel uncomfortable do things that will push them away do things that if they bought that land you had already bought and they bought make sure you do you Take possession of your land if you happen to come and find they have occupied it. Take possession of your land because after all, it's your land, you bought it first. And if they dare disturb you, tell them, this is my land. Go to the person who sold you the same land. They give you back your money. Because sometimes they, the owners of the land or the agents, they, they have a habit. They sell your land and they sell it to another person the second time. So you, you're going to take possession of your land. If you want to build a house, build your house, let the squatters complain if they want, let them go and report. So the moment they report or take you to court, you definitely will win because you have your land and you're possessing it. And they are on your land. They're in a wrong place. They were cheated. They were duped. So they better go to the person who sold them the piece of land, that same piece of land, so you can refund back their money. Then also, if you have squatters in your land, you can as well call them on table and discuss. Now, if they can buy themselves, fine, you just sell them the land, the the portions they are, they, they are occupying. It's unfortunate that they were cheated, so you sit with them and settle that issue amicably and make sure at least you give them those portions at a fair price because they already also paid the, like they're paying twice for the same piece of land when you sell them at a high price it won't, it won't be fair really that way you'll have a very good relationship with them yeah and i think that's the best way to deal with that if they're so willing and then you're good to go then going into land disputes and all that which is a waste of time yeah. and money and also, if you happen to be sued by the squatters, make sure you get a very good lawyer, a lawyer with a name. Don't just get these street lawyers who are just going to grab your money and they could connect with your squatters, you know, who are against you. And they take your money and again, they also take money from the other people. So there is that habit lawyers do here. A lot of that, but those lawyers who have already who have the name who are they have they are not ready for money, they can always do your job as long as you pay them well and they give you good results. In case you agree with the squatter, you the squatters, it doesn't matter their relatives, friends, you agree that they stay and pay you the money. Make sure you make clear agreements clarifying everything that you have agreed on. So that in future they don't turn against you. And guys, also people who construct in people's land, people who grab land, that is risky. You grab somebody's land, you put your big structure. In case this person has money and gets a good lawyer, they will just kick you out and just demolish that house. Imagine such a law. So also you should avoid that people who, especially I'm talking people who do land grabbing, they should stop it. And God doesn't like that. Guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Guys, subscribe, like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if all these have said applies in your country, guys. Let me know what are the laws governing land in your country. What do you, how do you deal with quotas? In case you have quotas in your land, guys. Drop a comment. Let me know. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. We love you.